Good day. This is my new displacement lubricator. As you can see, I've mounted it after the regulator, which makes it easier to fill. Plus, you're in no danger of back flushing oil into the boiler. I made this one out of quarter inch stock rather than the smaller number 10. Makes it a little easier to fill. Construction is identical to the last one. I used a solder to tin the entire tube this time, just so it matches a little bit better. And I hope to find something uh, that looks a little bit better than these wing nuts. Although well, they work quite well. Not much else to show. It does work. This was a clean rag, and as you can see there's oil staining on it from the exhaust. It does work better when you've got the engine running at uh, full bore. At high RPM, then quite a bit of oil comes through it. But it for now. I finally set up my line shaft so I can drive a couple of generators at once if it works out. I'm just waiting for the brush on electrical tape to dry. And that's it. Well, here it is. Great big line shaft. It's mounted on ball bearings, which is good for friction, or lack of it, but bad in that it is very sensitive to uh, warping. I was trying to drive it from one of the middle pulleys and it wasn't working very well at all because the shaft was bending a bit. It's a little bit too long, really. Not just that, but I I even tighten these screws down hard. That warps the base just enough to really increase the resistance on the bearings. So it's a very fussy piece of hardware. As you can see, the Jensen's hardly making an effort with the generator at all. I'll just disconnect our load there. Going a little bit better, but. It does work a little bit better without the uh, line shaft at all, so it is imposing a bit of a of, uh, drag. And of course the gearing isn't quite uh, optimal. What I need to do is mount a couple of Jensen two-step pulleys along that shaft. then I'll be able to uh, change my gear ratios a bit. A bit difficult when the drag on the engine isn't even. Anyway, that's it for now. Take care. Thought you might like to hear the 
25 when it's running under a stiff little load. You can actually see the oil coming out. It's hanging on the pipe. Second boiler of water, and I haven't the I haven't touched the oiler yet, other than to inspect it. And actually, when I opened it up, the oil level was above the level of the steam line, so it must uh, pressurize a little bit and force oil into the pipe rather than drip into it. Throttle back a little bit. 